Welcome, travelers, to a realm of frost and flame, where the clash of gods and monsters echoes through the ages. In the sagas of old, not all is glory and valor. There is another side to these tales, one filled with fearsome giants, treacherous demons, and monstrous creatures that haunt the shadows of the Nine Realms. The gods may sit on their golden thrones in Asgard, but lurking in the cold, dark corners of the cosmos are beings that hunger for chaos and destruction. This is the dark side of Norse mythology, where nightmares come to life and even the gods tremble. The primordial chaos, Ginnungagap and Ymir long before the gods walked the halls of Asgard, there was nothing but the great yawning abyss called Ginnungagap. To the north lay Niflheim, a realm of endless ice, and to the south, Muspelheim, a land of raging fire. When the icy winds of Niflheim met the fiery heat of Muspelheim, the first being was born, a giant named Ymir, the progenitor of all giants. Ymir was no benevolent figure. His breath was the freezing wind, his body a mountain of ice, and from his sweat sprang new life, the frost giants, beings of immense strength and malevolent power. From the very beginning, chaos gave birth to monsters. Ymir's body itself was a prison for dark forces, and when Odin and his brothers slew him to create the world, Ymir's blood flooded the cosmos, drowning all but a few of the frost giants. Yet, from this act of violence, the giants swore eternal vengeance on the gods, beginning the age-old war between the divine and the monstrous. The Frost Giants, Jotunheim, and their eternal hatred. The Frost Giants, or Jotnar, were born of Ymir's blood and ruled the desolate realm of Jotunheim. Unlike the gods who represented order, the giants embodied chaos and destruction. Their immense size and strength made them formidable foes, but it was their cunning and deep hatred for the gods that made them truly dangerous. Skrimir, the largest of all giants, could cause earthquakes just by shifting his weight. There was Hrungnir, whose heart was made of stone and who wielded a massive whetstone as his weapon. Yet, perhaps the most feared of all was Thrym, the giant who once stole Thor's hammer, Mjolnir, threatening the very balance of the world. These beings were not just mindless brutes. They were ancient, Elemental forces driven by their desire to topple the gods and return the world to chaos. The frost giant's hatred for Asgard was deep, and they saw every chance to strike at the gods. In one tale, Thrym demanded the hand of the goddess Freya in exchange for Mjolnir, only to be tricked and slaughtered by Thor, disguised as a bride. But such victories were fleeting, as the giant's vengeance never ceased. The fire giants, Surtur and the flames of Muspelheim, from the cold of Jotunheim, we turn to the fiery realm of Muspelheim where the fire giants rule. At their helm is Surtur, the giant of flame, an ancient being whose sword burns brighter than the sun. Muspelheim is a realm of destruction, and its denizens seek not just power, but the complete annihilation of all creation. Surtur is no ordinary giant. He is the embodiment of fire's destructive force, destined to play a key role in the end of the world. When Ragnarok, the twilight of the gods, comes, it is Surtur who will rise with his sword of fire, leading the fire giants in a final assault on Asgard. The flames of his blade will scorch the earth, setting the world ablaze in an inferno that even the gods cannot escape. In the prophecies, it is foretold that Surtur will slay the god Freyr, a god of fertility and peace, signaling the ultimate destruction of life. Yet, the fire giants remain in Muspelheim, biding their time, waiting for the day when they will burn the world to ash. The World Serpent, Jormungandr Among the many beasts that haunt Norse mythology, none are as fearsome or as vast as Jormungandr, the World Serpent. Born of Loki's union with the giantess Angerboda, Jormungandr was cast into the sea by Odin himself. Yet as the serpent grew, so did its power. It became so large that it encircled the entire world, its tail resting in its mouth, creating an eternal loop. Jormungandr is a creature of prophecy, destined to face Thor in the final battle of Ragnarok. Their enmity runs deep, for the serpent and the thunder god have crossed paths many times. In one story, Thor attempts to catch Jormungandr while fishing and nearly succeeds, but the serpent escapes, ensuring their final confrontation remains in the future. 
At Ragnarok, Jormungandr will rise from the sea, unleashing poisonous venom that will darken the skies and poison the earth. Thor will slay the serpent, but not before succumbing to its deadly poison, ensuring both die in the final cataclysm. Fenrir, the Wolf of Chaos Another of Loki's monstrous offspring is Fenrir, the great wolf destined to bring about the end of the gods. From the moment of his birth, Fenrir was feared by the Aesir. They knew his fate was to break free of his chains and devour Odin himself during Ragnarok. To prevent this, the gods sought to bind him, but no ordinary chains could hold such a beast. After several failed attempts, the dwarves forged a magical ribbon known as Gleipnir, light as silk but stronger than any metal. Tricked into being bound, Fenrir was chained, but only after biting off the hand of the god Tyre as a mark of vengeance. Bound and furious, Fenrir waits for the day he will break free and fulfill his destiny. When Ragnarok arrives, it is said that Fenrir will devour the sun, plunging the world into darkness before consuming Odin in battle. His howl will echo across the Nine Realms, signaling the end of the god's reign. The Draugr, Undead of the Norse World the dead do not rest easily in the world of Norse mythology. Among the most terrifying creatures to haunt the living are the Draugr, undead beings who rise from their graves to wreak havoc upon the world. Unlike mere ghosts, Draugr possess physical bodies and their strength far surpasses that of any mortal. They dwell in their burial mounds, guarding their treasures, but when disturbed, they rise with a hunger for destruction. Draugr can grow to massive sizes, control the weather, and even shapeshift. They are creatures of envy and greed, often returning to the world of the living to avenge wrongs or protect their hoarded riches. Legends tell of heroes who had to face Draugr in single combat, often risking their own souls to prevent these dark creatures from spreading chaos among the living. Ragnarok, the end of all things. All of these creatures, giants, wolves, serpents, and undead are woven into the larger narrative of Norse mythology, leading to one inevitable conclusion. Ragnarok, the twilight of the gods. This is the ultimate battle between the forces of order, led by the gods, and the forces of chaos, represented by the giants, monsters, and demons. When Ragnarok comes, the earth will shake, the sky will split, and the dead will rise. Surtur will lead the fire giants, Durmungandr will spew his venom, Fenrir will break his chains, and the frost giants will descend from Jotunheim. The gods will fall, one by one, and the world will be consumed by fire. But from this destruction, a new world will emerge, cleansed of the old, where new gods will reign, and life will begin again. The dark side of Norse mythology reveals a universe on the edge of chaos, where gods and monsters are forever locked in a struggle for survival. It is a world where the forces of destruction are just as powerful as those of creation, and where even the mightiest gods cannot escape their fates. Thank you for joining us on this journey through the shadowy realms of Norse myth. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon to explore more tales of myth and legend from around the world. Thank you for joining us on this journey through legend and lore. Subscribe for more mythical tales and epic legends.